Hello! How are you? You are now in Dexter Pangriman video blog. And right now, we're going to talk about mutual fund. Ano nga bang mutual fund? But first of all, you are now in Dexter Pangriman video blog. And here we give some information about investment, personal finance, technology, and family. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe na po kayo. Today, we are doing the about personal finance. So, is it really safe in mutual fund? Uh, my answer depends on the definition of safe. Ano ba ang definition of safe mo? Ano ba ang definition of safe na nasa isip mo? Yung hindi ka malulugi? Or yung safe na kung saan alam mo na may nagmamanage ng pera mo at alam mo na dumaan to sa mga restrictions? But first of all, I would like to tell you that there is no risk-free investment. Mutual fund is managed by fund manager who are trained to manage full the money. So, may mga manager yan na kung saan sila yung nagmamanage yung funds na yan, sila yung binabayaran para magmanage yung mga funds. So, with the decision making with regards to fund allocation, I can say that mutual fund is safe. Bakit? Kasi marurunong yung gumagawa ng pagmamanage ng pera. Hindi basta-basta, hindi katulad natin kung hindi natin alam ang isang bagay, then basta natin gagawin, we will just invest and something, sometimes we invest in some stocks na kung saan parang nabalitaan lang natin, tumataas, is invest na tayo. No, this particular mutual fund managers are not doing like that. Is it safe that mutual fund is also governed by SEC and have passed with different government stake rules before it could operate and receive new funding from investors? So it is safe in a way that it is uh, approved by SEC. Dumaan siya sa mga masusing pag-aaral ng SEC Dumaan siya sa mga regulatory commission Na kung saan ay nagbibigay ng mga, ng mga policies and procedure Upang sa ganun ay paano ba ang paghawak ng isang financial So in addition, the money is being held by an associate banks And the money and not by the fund manager Fund managers only manage the transactions Hindi po ang mga fund manager ang humahawak ng pera natin Para sa ganun, ilagay nila sa stock market or any kind of investment so they just manage. They don't hold the they don't hold the money. The the money is being held in the bank. Na kung saan dun lang yung sinasabi lang ng manager na dito mo siya ilalagay or dito mo siya ilalagay. But they cannot hand the money. Money value of the funds depends on the daily NAV PS of a certain fund. There are days that the NAV PS is low and there are days that the NAV PS is high. If current NAV PS is lower than your purchase cost per unit, then you're losing. But if the current NAV PS is higher than your purchase cost per unit, then you are gaining. Of course, purchase cost per unit includes fees and other charges of the mutual fund company. As an example, na po, kapag binili mo yung isang fund ng 1 peso per unit, halimbawa binili mo siya, and then currently, nagtitrade siya na yung isang fund is equivalent to 1.5 pesos per unit, definitely you are gaining. No? Binili mo ng piso, Tapos, nga rin na binibenta siya ng 1.5 Pag ibinenta mo siya, kumikita ka ng 0.5 But if the current fund is costing at 0.75 Pero binili mo siya ng 1 peso So, ibig sabihin, nalulugi ka na ng 0.25 So, pwede ka malugi sa mutual fund? Yes, definitely Pwede ka malugi Pwede kang kumita? Definitely din, pwede kang kumita because there are different types of mutual fund to choose from. Ano-ano ito? Yung una, equity fund. Ano ba yung equity fund? Uh, yung equity fund po, yan yung talagang nakabase sa stock market. May tinatawag naman na balance fund. Ano yung balance fund? Balance fund is a mix of uh, fixed assets and uh, the stock market. So parang balance, kalahakalahati lang yan. There is what you call fixed income, income funds. Those who are... Uh, Put, they put their money in the bonds no? Nasa bonds lang sila Meron din tinatawag ng money market funds Money market funds is the least risky There are other types of funds But those mentioned in the com above Na sinabi ko kanina Yun yung common Equity fund, balance fund Fixed income funds And money market funds If you are young I would suggest going on equity fund Bakit? Kasi ang equity fund Yes, risky But pagka bata pa Malaki pa yung panahon mo Makarecover ka Kung ikaw man ay matalo Diba? Kung ikaw naman ni medyo may edad na, I would suggest the balance fund or the money market fund. Kasi kung yun ang gagamitin mo, mas less risky yun. So, equity funds is the highest risky, the highest risk on the mutual fund and yet the money market fund is the lowest risk. Yeah. But kailangan mo maintindihan 
that the higher the investment risk, the higher the potential of income. The lower the investment risk, the lower potential of income. So halimbawa, pag mga equity fund, mas posible yan tumasa ng 20-30%, but definitely, pwede rin siyang bumagsak ng 30-40%. Ang mga money market fund, normally, they can earn 3-5% and they can earn, they can also lose 3-4%. Ang sinasabi ko dito, ano man yung posible mong pag-angat, yun din yung posible mong pagbagsak. So that's why I told you there is no such thing as risk-free investment, no? Ayang ang sabi ko nga dito, bago ka mag-invest in any kind of investment, you have to learn first. Aral muna bago invest. Hindi pwedeng sabak lang sabak, hindi mo pwedeng invest ka kagad na invest wherein you do not know what you're doing. And so, I also believe in the, in the saying that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Definitely, we don't want to fail. No, Kailangan natin, gusto natin kumita. Ay uh, sabi ko nga, dapat you learn first the basics of investing. Hindi pwedeng pasok ka ng pasok. No? Always remember in Proverbs 11, 24-25 Ang sabi sa Proverbs 11, 24-25 A one person gives freely yet gains even more Another withholds unduly but comes to poverty A generous person will prosper However, repressed other will be repressed you know? Kapag kumikita na tayo sa mutual fund you know, It's a general rule Dapat tayo maging generous no? We need to give something Because being generous is a good thing as is a good thing no kailangan tayo maging mapagbigay so dapat matuto tayo magbigay kasi as we gain as the lord bless us as we have this particular things in our life ano na bigay ng Panginoon sa atin kailangan nating i-share di ba so as we go as we earn from mutual fund and everything like this so yay, i think it's only the right thing to become generous no so, do you have any other suggestion about mutual fund? Do you have any comments about mutual funds or anything that you have in mind so that you want to share with us in our in our uh, community? So, I would like you to share those things in the comment section. Thanks for watching Dexter Pangariban video blog. We hope that you subscribe with, the ch with our channel and we hope that you can share this one with your friends, especially those who would like to know about mutual fund. Okay? By the way, on my channel, there are some something about investing. So you can just play about the playlist on investing that I will link below. God bless.